Hello, Glenn from Vet and Pet Direct. Dogs love sticks. Whether it's chewing on sticks or chasing sticks, it's a normal part of lots of dogs' exercise programs to have a stick that they're running around with. It's not without risks, unfortunately. Sometimes I see dogs come into the clinic with facial wounds, uh, wounds in their mouth, around the chest from actually running into a stick that's still in motion and impaling themselves on it, which is really nasty. And when there's two dogs or more involved, uh, the tug of war and just other dogs coming in from the side and running into those sticks, I, I can see injuries reasonably frequently from that. There's lots of other options that you can use that are safer than the stick option. Um, these ones came out of my yard at home. My dogs have been playing with and chewing on. Um, but there's heaps of different options available, fabric style, um, some plastic and rope, um, rubber style. Um, so there's lots of different options for uh, chew things for them to play with as well as for throw toys essentially. Some pets um, like chewing on sticks when they're teething, particularly puppies, and some older dogs, staffies um, in particular, just love the feeling of chewing up on a stick, but there's safer, better alternatives in the chew department and raw meaty bones to help keep their teeth clean and keep them engaged that's got lower risk of splinters um, and facial wounds than, than sticks. I had a patient come in recently to the clinic and I'll throw some images up here that we'll talk through about um, a wound basically from doing just that, chasing a stick that it ran into before it stopped moving essentially. There was a penetrating wound in the back of its mouth and, and this is the, the photograph of it. It looked pretty nasty before we went to surgery. It became quickly apparent that it was even nastier than that um, once we got in there and tried to remove that stick. Uh, from going into the back of its throat. So he came out with a successful outcome and has healed up completely and it was a good story but a couple of millimetres either side and it definitely could have been a different scenario. So um, keep that in mind when you're throwing sticks to your dogs and think about what um, safer alternatives potentially you can use. Thanks guys.